I wanted to build on, uh, Mr. Speaker, my colleague's uh, response to the former question. And in my discussions, Mr. Speaker, with doctors particularly who have been working in my city of Edmonton on trying to deal with the, the problem of addiction and trying to seek safer places uh, even within the community to uh, deal with this problem, which is evident across the country, is drug addiction. Um, the member spoke to the issue of what the doctors are telling me is it's pretty hard to create a path towards uh, detox and to better health alternatives if people are hiding in back alleys, getting HIV and uh, avoiding uh, prevention and rehabilitation. Can she speak again to the issue of what the experts are finding in analysis of, of BC Insight, that in fact it may well be the best, best path towards better health alternatives? The Honourable Member for NDG Lachine. Indeed, that's what I'm saying and that's what we're seeing in NDG. You need to create a bond of trust with the person on the street and it's not easy. The government can uh, make announcements to uh, 2.7 million people and, and, and but things will not change overnight. So you need a process in place and uh, supervised injection sites like Insight will will draw users will uh, because they know that they'll be able to get help there and then they can continue on their way towards detox. Thank you very much.